The first piece I sung in my life as a little boy soprano when I was 10 years old, from memory, I have to say, and make the precision, was the last oratorio by Joseph Haydn, one of his very last pieces. It's a masterpiece. It's called The Seasons because there's one cantata for each season, so four cantatas. And we know even more maybe the creation by Haydn, which was what made him very, very famous in his own time. But the seasons, I think he goes much beyond and is preparing romantic music in a descriptive way and taking risks really with the orchestration. Um, each cantata has its own story, uh, which is always with the th same three characters, the three soloists. So the soprano is a very young girl, which will be um, sung by Regula Mühlemann, a Swiss wonderful soprano, very young. Uh, the tenor is uh, her lover. Uh, it will be Werner Gura, one of the finest uh, classical tenors in the world. And their father, uh, very interestingly, which will be Matthew Rose, so he's not as old enough in real life to be their father, but the bass sound makes it sound like the father uh, who's dialoguing through events like nature, getting ready for winter, getting out of the winter, the sunrise, uh, a thunderstorm, uh, the harvest, uh, the winemaking, people getting even drunk. Um, there's a big place that's made for the choir in the, all that, uh, that oratorio, which is probably why I loved it in the first place as a kid. And it's maybe one of the most entertaining pieces ever. And it was meant as a thanksgiving to God for all that he gave in the world. And I think nowadays we can uh, feel that it's uh, the same way, especially when we're ready to have these meals and these wonderful moments to get into family and be thankful uh, to the world for what he gives us. And I'm certainly thankful to Haydn for what he's giving uh, through this piece. Through choral music, we can explore also some extraordinary orchestral writing. Uh, Haydn oratorios or masses, you know, are, yes, based on vocal uh, qualities, but this is really music which is extraordinarily complex for the strings, a lot of notes for the violins, uh, and a lot of virtuosity is required from the orchestra, great solos of the woodwinds, uh, natural horns imitating the sound of the hunting. So uh, I believe this is a way not only the seasons, uh, but a way in general through our Matthew Passion, our Handel Messiah, uh, the series of Requiem that I've been starting years ago to uh, explore the real typical and very personal writing that each composer has when it comes to large scale vocal music.